All right now, the really amazing thing is we've been on this tour now for about four weeks straight. And we're still talking. I mean, there was a couple of instances, but everything's okay now. New laundry and shit, that helps. But yeah, uh, the man we always enjoy playing here because of is the man who went on before us, Mr. John Byrne. Because we met him and Patrick way back in the day when they were Patrick's head. And quite frankly, it was the first time I'd met two people that were as alcoholic as I am. It was amazing to know there was actually two more of us in the world that can drink that much Guinness like that and still sit up and eat an egg. But then, uh, now when John started a solo project, he opened the last time we were here and he blew us away, gave us his album and it's, it's a lot of play on my iPod, I'll tell you that. But I'm really thinking about it now because this song is about drunken Irish men who every Friday like to pop in for a catch-up pint. So when you go into the pub, see the boys, catch up, you know what's been going on. But after a while it's midnight, you've caught up on everybody in the pub now and you're totally shit-faced. And that's when, you know, you might think maybe there's a romance. Because by now the alcohol has performed its LASIK surgery on your eyesight. <laughs> and everybody looks gorgeous. There's even a couple of lads who are looking good to you now. And you go, but look, luckily, you, you, you aim for the drunkest, I mean the most beautiful girl you can see. And you go up to her and you know, maybe one thing leads to another. Next thing you know, you're both lying in bed, exhausted, passioned out. And you look into her eyes and you say, I think I love you. I think I can spend the rest of your life with you. And then you wake up in the morning and you go, Who the fuck are you and where the fuck am I? So this is dedicated to those people. This is love in a pub. This is how you girls. Yeah. 